How is everybody doing today? Would you like to get this Geo nail look? I love it. I want to do this mini for my friend. Her name is Sharon. She has a YouTube channel. It's her birthday and she loves like amethyst at rocks and geodes and all that. And so that's what I wanted to do for her because I literally forgot how much I loved it. But let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. I've got these nails ready and let's go. All right, so I've got my nail ready here, and I'm going to be using the Model Ones Africa White because I absolutely love it, and it's super pigmented. If you guys have never tried this Africa White, you definitely have to get your hands on it because it is so pigmented, and I absolutely love the bottles. But you're going to be applying one layer over this nail. Um, just really thin, guys, because when you're using gel polish to do a gel nail, you're going to be applying multiple layers. So keep that in mind. Just remember that you don't want it thick at all because a thick gel nail is like really not the coolest thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, you can do several different kinds of gel nails if you like. You can use nothing but gel polish or you can actually do acrylic. Um, or you can even do builder gel, but I'm going to be using this copper leaf oil only because I love the color of this copper leaf and I wanted it to be a little bit different. But you're just going to apply it to your base color here. But now if you want to do like glitter base coat or another different color, you you can. It's best to use white though if you want. That way you can put anything on top of it. But I'm just going to be applying this copper leaf, just little shards of where I want my geode to be at. Um, I'm going to apply in two different areas, uh, little pieces at a time, just tearing them off here and there. But yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. And, you, and I'm just sticking in this into the sticky inhibition layer. So now I'm taking my non-wipe top coat and I'm just going to apply two thin layers over top of this uh, leaf full, only because it likes to stick up in the gel. And so you want it to have that 3D-ish look. Um, so apply one layer, go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds, come back and apply your second layer, and then you're going to give it a complete cure for 30 to 60 seconds, depending on your light, but this is just going to help keep it from sticking up through the other gel polishes. So once you do that and you get it done, you're just going to take and a, a, I usually just try to use a small, um, you can use a buffing block, you can use a hand file, anything that you use to, use to buff this nail. I'm just using my little pink buffer and I'm just going to go right over where the leaf oil is. I'm going to take my finger and kind of rub on it to make sure that it's smooth. Anywhere that I feel like it's sticking up or you know anything like that, I'm just going to buff it a little bit more. But be very careful when buffing this because you don't want to buff all the way through the top coat. Alright, so once you got it back, I'm going to be taking this Vinalisa Sky Blue, and this is such a beautiful color. And you're going to take this and you're going to apply it right over top of what you briefly just buffed. And this is full coverage. One coat is all I'm using of each one of these colors. The Vinalisa colors are so amazing, guys. They really are. It's just shipping sucks. It really takes about a month or two before I can even get the products from Vinalisa. But it's beautiful. I'm just going to apply this. I'm going to cure this for 30 to 60 seconds. On top of that, I'm using the gold from Vinalisa. And this is like a fine glitter, but a full coverage. Very beautiful. And this is just to give it a little color, of color to it. But you're going to apply this the same way. And then you're going to cure for 30 to 60 seconds. Once you're done with that one, I'm going to be applying this gray slate color. And it's so pretty love this gray super nice but you're going to be doing the same process and all of these colors except for the last color 
<clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so once we have this, like I said, go ahead and cure that. Cure that for 30 to 60 seconds. Once you get that one cured, you're going to be applying this beautiful blue. I love this blue. This is like a neon blue. It's just really bright, very beautiful, full coverage. But now you're going to be leaving this layer wet. Do not cure this layer. This is your last layer. You can apply as many layers as you like. But for me, I feel like five, six layers is quite enough. And it's still going to be a little bit on the thicker side anyways. Uh, but just leave this layer um, wet. Do not, don't cure this one because we're actually going to be putting a little bit of uh, designs in this layer. Okay, so once I've got this done, got it all smooth out. Try to keep it thin as well. But I've got, I'm going to put these polishes down on this little metal pa palette that I have here. And this, I love this little palette because it just makes it easy for mixing my gel polishes. Whether I want to like, if I want to make a lighter color, a darker color, or just the fact that it's easy to wipe off as well. Uh, <clears throat> but um, I'm going to apply a little bit of white here. That way, if I want to make a lighter color, I can. Plus, I'm going to be using a lot of the white. So, but yeah. Just go ahead and do that and then we're going to start painting in this wet layer i'm just going to uh, play around with it see what i can do now let me let me just say that if you don't want your if you don't like it you can definitely wipe it off and start over or the fact you can literally take the blue polish and paint over whatever mistakes you make and it'll be perfectly fine because it's that pigmented uh, but i'm just putting a little like a marbled it's going to look like a marble geo geode I could talk today like a marble geo but I'm taking my little drill bit here my my cart my uh, sanding band here and I'm just drilling down into where those copper pieces are at a tilted angle that way it kind of looks like a rock like it's like down into the nail and I do I do want to make you do want to make sure that you're filing to where you can see all the colors of the layers if, if you kind of get my uh, drift but like, you know what I mean like you want all the layers to be seen so I am kind of like going down with it as well, just enough to where I can see all those different layers. And once I get to where I showed the uh, geode part of it, the uh, copper leaf, I am literally going to take a little bit more of that um, model one spot and I'm going to do a little bit more detailing. But, one, but make sure that you don't fall too far down. Take a duster and just kind of dust it off. That way you can see what you're doing. But now I'm taking a little bit of the model ones and I'm just giving it that little bit more of detail. That way it actually has that geo look. Now this is going to still give you some kind of harsh lines uh, and everything. So I do, I am going to be taking a little bit of alcohol and kind of spreading those gel polishes out so they're not so uh, um, harsh. You know what I mean? Like it's not so pigmented. So it's going to kind of disperse over the nail, give it that marbled look. Um, I didn't quite care for the lines that I put at the top of the nail in the corner and the bottom. So I, I am going to take my blue and fix those mistakes because I really just want to center all of it in the middle of the nail. So you will see that when I come back that it's that those lines will be gone. But yeah, just, just play around with it. Like I said, it's just a lot of fun. It really is. I, you just have to play around with it. But I like it. I think it turned out really great. I do I do have some more ideas I want to do with these geode nails. Like I said, I really forgot how much I love them. But uh, yeah, but just play around. Uh, I think I'm going to do a few more lines here. And I think that'll be it. I'm done with it. So... All right, so see where I took the blue and I fixed uh, the upper corner and the bottom corner. I kind of just made it to where it was all in the middle. But you're going to be taking, I'm taking the blue here and I'm just going to paint the next two nails this solid blue color just because I love it. And I just want to, you know, of course I wanted it to match the geode nail, but I'm just going to do two solid nails here and... Um, I'm only doing one layer too, guys. I, literally, it's that pretty, that pigmented. I really enjoy these, though. Let me know if you guys have tried these Vanellisa gel polishes before. Like I said, I just wish shipping wasn't so bad with Vanellisa, or I literally would order the whole collection. They're that good.
the last two nails here, I'm going to be using the white, uh, Africa white from Model 1s. And I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be ombre in these two colors together, the white and the blue from Vinalisa, mainly because I love two ombre gel polishes. They're really beautiful, and I love the the way that it looks like you have three different colors instead of just the two. It's just really, and it's really easy too. Like it's an, it's an easy nail to do, really. I'm just going to use my little ombre brush that I have and just ombre those two together. But you're going to apply the blue at the top, meeting halfway on both of the um, both of the nails. Just meet where the white meets, and you're just going to pull it upwards. I actually think about, I thought about doing like um, press on nails. Actually, I thought about picking up a bit, making a, my own business of press on nails. I ain't quite made my mind up yet though. Mainly because I love doing it and it's just so easy to do it. But yeah, you're just going to apply that. Make sure they're still thin. So do wipe off any excess that you have. Once you get that, like I said, you're just going to take a little ombre brush. You don't have to exactly have the ombre brush to do this. You can definitely just use like a liner brush if that's all you that you have. There's several ways of uh, doing ombres or blending two colors together, but you just wiggle your brush back and forth. But you can definitely do this with a liner brush if that's all that you have. I'm going to do the second nail here, same way as I did the first, just wiggling back and forth. And once I get that, I do wipe off the excess though. You do want to make sure that you're doing that. That way it doesn't mess up, like mix the colors up all the way down the nail. That way you still have that white at the bottom. So do keep in mind that you want to keep that brush wiped off as well. Alrighty guys, so after being top coat, this is what they look like. This is the final result. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy birthday, Sharon. I hope you have a beautiful birthday. Hope you enjoyed the nails. I absolutely love them. I am going to be doing some more of these. I'm just playing around and seeing what I can do. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. There'll be a playlist down below for you guys. That way you can go watch all the other girls and their manis as well. But I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful, blessed day. Don't forget to hit that bell. Get all my latest uploads. Don't forget to share them as well. Please hit that like button. Just let everybody know that you like my videos. I'll see you in the next one, guys. I love you all. Bye.